Hello everyone. So the next experiment uh, which we are going to do uh, after the band pass filter is a band reject filter. So in the previous uh, experiment that is band pass, I've told you what is actually a band reject filter. So now we are going to design this. So this is the circuit which how we are going to design. The first procedure, we go and open the cadence uh, capture CIS light. So after this, uh, we need to go for new project. So click on the new project uh, on the window. Then uh, you need to give some name. So I'll give it as band widget filter. Then choose the path where you need to save, where you need to save. Then give OK. OK. So you'll get the schematic window where you need to draw the circuit. Now, as we have seen in the circuit, we need uh, three opens. So initially, we'll uh, take three op-amps for the circuit. That is, if you see, this is actually a combination of a high-pass filter, a low-pass filter, then a summer. So we'll have first, this is resistor. So this is a low-pass filter. This is capacitor. So this is high-pass filter. So first, we'll do this configuration, considering so you have band detect filter, schematic. Click on the page one. Now. You need to go for place part as a to do place part will be here also or you can take it from here place part. Now we need to go for op amp and that it is LM741. So LM741 op amp. So double click on this. You need to place one here, one uh, I put it here, and one more for the summer. Then escape. So come back to the circuit. We need one, two, three, four, five resistors. So we'll go to so analog. We take a resistor. Double click on this. So a resistor has to be placed. Uh, one is to the third terminal of the op amp somewhere here. One more resistor. It has to be to the again third pin and it has to be rotated so we will rotate it later and uh, one more output of this particular op amp and uh, one more to the output of this and one to the feedback of the summer okay now give escape and we need to rotate this so you can either do this option or do control r then we need a capacitor to so double click on this one capacitor which has to be rotated here, one more is here, and yeah, two capacitors. Okay, then escape. Now we know to do the connection. Before that, I will take the inputs also. So by taking all the components, then we can do the circuit. So this is VAC. So type it, so get it as VAC. Double click on this. So both the inputs are same. I mean, for both the circuits, you can place it here. Give escape. Then we need VDC. Okay. So double click on the VDC. So we have uh, initially plus seven three op amps. So one here, one here, one here, one here, here for this, and one more for this. Okay. So ground, we can give it at the last. So you can close this. Now, we have to draw the circuit properly. So, this is the summer. So, we'll complete the summer part first. So, this is actually plus 7. So, you can rotate this. So, plus has to be connected. The negative is here. Here, I have to bring the negative to 4. So, rotate it. Again, once more, you can rotate. So, this is the negative part. And the one more resistor here. I take a wire connected from 7 to here, here to here for the ground, then from 4 terminal to here, and from here to the ground. Similarly, from 6 to 10, it has to be given to the register. Okay. Now we need to complete the circuit. From third pin, 
just to give it a shot. So I will finish up this acute uh, also. Now this is actually for ground. This is third. Actually, actually for the ground. Third thing. Hmm. This is how we join the surface. I think uh, all the points are connected. So, a resistor, capacitor, capacitor into resistor. <coughs> There's a feedback, supply, negative supply, with a feedback, a supply. There's a resistor given to the thumber. So number three should be connected to ground. So, now, we need to connect the ground for the surface. So select the zero UTFIM. So connect to the ground wherever it is required. One to here and uh, one more to the resistor end. So all the supplies of the open. You have to be careful when you get the connection to see properly whether it is connecting. Here it is actually extended. Mm. Okay. One more is required for the input. Now we'll connect this input that is ground to the supply. Okay. So now one is input has to be given to the Now we need to change the values of the input whatever we have taken. So the one kilo ohm as the resistor R1, capacitor value is 0 0.1 microfarad. So 0 0.1 microfarad. Similarly, this capacitor is again 0 0.01. So 0 0.1 microfarad. So the resistor value here we have taken it as 2 kilo ohm. Supply need to be changed. It is plus 12. And to the terminal player, it is minus 12. That means we'll get 12, but the polarity is changed. Similarly, here also, it is plus 12. And here it is. Right. There is one more ground required here. So this is done. Now this resistor it has 10 K total resistors R3 and R4. So okay. the notations that depends on in the manual it is different R3 and R3 it depends on how you think. So whichever the resistor you place first and uh, it takes the quantity one. Next one is also 10K. This is it. We need to change the polarity and supply plus 12. Similarly, here this is 12. I think we are done with the circuit now. So, all the parameters have been completed. Now, we need to check the output across the side. We will consider this voltage load. And place it across pin number six. Now, this is good. You can see after saving, the next step is you have to place and go to phase five, new simulation five. I'll give it as narrow band reset filter. You can see it. So, you'll get an edit simulation file. So, now in this edit simulation file, the process remains the same as. Previous, but you should be careful that uh, till which frequency you have to reject the frequency and which one you have to pass. So, this is basically again. 
and uh, here also start frequency. So I want to uh, start the frequency as uh, 50 hertz and end the frequency as 3 kilo and point also I will consider it as uh, 10 for this. Now apply to all ok. Ok now after edit simulation file uh, we need to run the setup. Now before running ok this uh, is this is not 1k, this has to be 8k. So we'll give it as 8k. Now we'll save it. So we have done the edit part, simulation part, and we need to run the file. So check now whether there is any error. So there is no error because uh, netlist generation is completed. After that, okay, before that, uh, there was one problem here which I have corrected. This was not connected to 6th pin, instead it was connected to 1st pin I guess. So make it proper, connected to 6th pin. This one is offset which we don't use. Now we have got the simulation file, okay see. This is the band reject filter. The start frequency which we had uh, taken or which we had uh, considered was from 50 hertz. So we are getting from 50 hertz, it is rejected. So this will be the center frequency, then it is passing till I mean stopping till 3 kilohertz. So from 50 to 3 kilohertz it needs to stop the frequency. Rest all frequencies it will be coming under the pass band. So this is actually your ba narrow band pass filter. If this is in terms of wide then we call it as a wide narrow sorry wide band reject filter not band pass filter it's a wide re narrow reject filter. So here usually the higher frequency what we take will be around 800 somewhat if we take the 3 dB. Similarly the lower frequency will be coming around 200. So we will get around the, the center frequency or bandwidth which, which we get here is very less around the 600 hertz we will be getting. So this is how we do the narrow band reject filter. So the application of uh, see the same waveform we have got this is given in the course lab manual. So again the result is that we will be using a piece by uh, tool and we will be getting the output waveform of band reject filter after simulating. So the outcome is you will be having a first order band reject filter which is designed and analyzed. Application of both the narrow band pass filter and band reject filter is it is used mainly in wireless transmitters and receivers. It is used in electric guitar applications or amplifiers. So in telephone technology, these filters are used as a telephone line noise reducer and digital subscriber line internet services, mainly used in optical communication technology. So this is how you simulate the band to reject filter in terms of narrow. So 